The Sovereignty Commission was created in 1956. So this, the idea behind this was preserve you know, the white way of life, the southern way of life. And they gave incredible powers. And you look at the law, they gave it judicial powers, they gave it police powers. A lot of those who were prominent were afraid of coming out and publicly supporting the civil rights movement. The NAACP met in secret. That's how frightening it was back then. In words, you might be killed just for belonging to the NAACP. And of course, Mega Revers, who was the head of the NAACP in Mississippi, was assassinated in 63. All those records that were connected with the Mississippi Sovereignty Commission were sealed. I was able to get my hands on 2,400 pages of Sovereignty Commission records, and this was back in 1989. And what those files showed was at the same time the state of Mississippi was prosecuting Byron D. Lebeck with, for the murder of Meg Revers, this other arm of the state, the Sovereignty Commission, which by the way was headed by the governor, was secretly assisting the defense, trying to get him acquitted. And my story ran October the 1st, 1989. The authorities reopened the Mega Revers case as a result of the story, and uh, Byron D. Beckwith was re-prosecuted and convicted February 5th, 1994. And I remember too, I mean especially the day that the conviction came. Mm -hmm. And I know you do too. I said, God, I have done the best I can do. I don't know what else I can do. Going out of that door at the hotel, and they had policemen, two policemen there with dogs. Right. Getting past those dogs. And you have to remember that dogs were a symbol of pain and yeah. suffering. Getting past them, getting in the car, going around the corner to the courthouse and not being sure whether we were going to get there in time to hear the verdict. It, it, it was absolutely crazy. And I'm not sure that my heart beat one time from the hotel right. to, to, uh, right. to the courtroom and getting in just time enough to hear that verdict. I felt as though every pain, every problem I had had over the years right. with prejudice, racism, and hatred, of hating, really hating people, a population for what happened to Medgar, just flew out. It was like a, every poor was just pushing all of this emotion out. You are basically the reason that the third trial took place and the conviction. So I'll never be able to thank you enough for being there. And you think about this, because of that case, Oh. how many other cases there How been? many? There are 24 convictions total. Meggers. And you know, and you know who's responsible Beckwith. for that? You are. There are a lot of folks. I mean, I think that's only fair you know, that have worked on it. But I appreciate your compliment. Yes, you but know. you are primarily responsible for that. Yeah. Accept it. <laughs> Accept it. <laughs>